first instance, I think the circular economy targets are really pressing. And especially, especially for flexible packaging, this is the case. And it's very complicated. Eh? We have to transition towards a circular economy for flexible packaging. And this includes the whole value chain of plastic production and end of life, transitioning from more or less linear to circular in a matter of years, which is really complicated. So we need to have some facts because else you can keep on talking, but if there's no data on the table, and I'm a scientist from the university, so I like data, of course. If there's no data on the table, you get opinions against opinions. And this is very difficult to come to uniform criteria. So what we want to do with this test program is create as much as possible scientific data with sound test programs with sufficient quantity of samples to be tested that in best case we can do some statistics and we can really say this is a fact that you can't ignore, this is sortable, this is recyclable, and then you give some facts to talk between the designers, between the product safety people, between the, the, the marketing divisions, between the recyclers, and even to the consumers and the governments. They say we have to produce this because it's important, and hey, it can be recycled in this case or this case, or it can be efficiently processed, it can be efficiently sorted, and here is the data. And then I think that is really a key towards transitioning this whole value value chain towards more circularity. Well, for us as a university, this is really crucial data that we're getting. It's the first time that we get such an amount of data, but usually when we go do this kind of work, from our perspective as a university, we have to gather samples ourselves and we have to analyze what is the sample, what is the composition of it, and we, can, we, can, we get some fragmented samples in our testing. And in this case, we got on real large scale samples with known composition and we know exactly in which processes and which conditions they are processed. So what we see currently is that data is coming in from the sorting test and from the processing test. And it's nice data, it's quantitative data, and it's linked to the design phase. And this is interesting and good for decision making related to design for recycling guidelines. Of course, there's also a systemic approach. You have certain types of packaging with certain requirements for functionality and so on, and we shouldn't forget that. So we are here linking at the moment, linking expert judgment with the data and seeing how we can really get the maximum out of this data combined with the experts around the table. And it's really interesting to hear all the perspectives on that. So we hope to come with some sound design for recycling guidelines. Mm -hmm.